Hi kids, today we are going to talk about tiny organisms called prokaryotes. But first, let's take a look at the organism that we know of. There are plants, animals, fungi, and all other organisms such as algae that belong to the group of protists. Plants, animals, fungi, and protists, these are four groups of organisms that are called kingdoms. They belong to one big subgroup, which is domain Eukarya. Today, we will focus on the other two domains, bacteria and archaea. Bacteria and archaea are really good buddies and they call themselves prokaryotes. Let's talk about some history. 4.6 million years ago, Earth formed as a hot mass of molten rocks. Many asteroids pummeled on Earth, it cooled down and as a result, water emerged. After 1 billion years of nothing, the first living thing on Earth were prokaryotes. They ruled the world for another 1 billion years. Pro means before and karyo means nucleus, so before nucleus. A nucleus is something like the brain of the cell. Prokaryotic cells don't have a nucleus, but eukaryotic cells do. They also have other little things hanging around in their cells. In prokaryotic cells, DNA is clumped in an area. Prokaryotic cells are too small to see with our eyes. And that's why we use a microscope. We put the cell sample on a slide and examine it under the microscope. But we can also use a petri dish to watch how they grow. Most prokaryotes undergo binary fission, where one cell is dividing into two cells. And then each of those two cells divide into another two cells. Then again, again and again. They do binary fission every 20 minutes to 3 hours. This process is called conjugation. In conjugation, one cell copies a part of its DNA and shares it with another cell. Where can we find bacteria? Actually, they are everywhere. In the air, on every surface, in the food you eat, and even in your body. Are bacteria bad for us? There are some harmful bacteria that make us sick called pathogenic bacteria, but there are also some good bacteria. We call them beneficial bacteria. They help us digest the food in our stomach, and thanks to them, we can eat foods such as cheese. We can find bacteria in medicine that makes us feel better or in the dirt to give food to the plants. But what do they look like? Coccus, bacillus, and spirillium. We also look at the colony color and what they eat. Some bacteria are photosynthetic where they convert carbon dioxide, the dirty air, to oxygen, the fresh air, with the help of sunlight. Other bacteria are heterotrophic. They eat other organisms like animals do. Some bacteria are parasitic. They live inside other organisms and take all the nutrients from them. Now that we have talked so much about bacteria, let's focus on archaea. Archaea are extremophiles, which means they live in extreme environments. An example for their habitat are the Yellowstone hot springs or volcanoes. Archaea, like bacteria, have different kind of energy sources. They eat sugars, carbon, ammonia, metal ions, hydrogen. So today we have learned that bacteria and archaea are prokaryotes and even though we cannot see prokaryotes they are everywhere. They are important because nature could not work without them.